Yeah, cause I was. What is up, everyone? This is Elite Kickboxer. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of one of the nicest, if not the best, um, shotguns, 12 gauge that are ever made. So. This is the Benelli M4 Tactical. Benelli makes many versions, M1, M2, M3, M4. M4 is the best one. Why? It's just because of the Argo gas system and, well, it's an amazing shotgun. The Marines adopted this, so you know it's been tested well. This is the shotgun that will function anytime, anywhere, and any round that's not three and a half inch because it's only chambered for three inch or small. So. Um, this is New York State compliant because it doesn't have a thumb hole stock, which is ridiculous. Because this exact same gun, if it had a thumb hole stock, that's an assault weapon, it's illegal for a civilian like me. Oh yeah, and also, I live in New York, Suffolk County of Long Island. I am not um, military law enforcement, I am just a civilian. And this gun is perfectly legal to own, so long as it's kept like this. And how you see it is not exactly how it's, um, how you buy it. Upgraded a few things, for example, the extended charging handle will go and everything. I'll go into detail in a minute. The uh, magazine release, um, and then the full magazine too. That's a big one. So, if you'll see on other websites or just I don't know online, um, if you, when you search the Benelli M4 for if you're gonna buy it in the U.S. or specifically New York State, you're gonna see it has that like um, I don't know that dark the jet black type of plastic piece right here. It's not smooth, why? Because um, when you buy it, this, it's a five rounds um, in the magazine tube, plus one in the chamber. This is a full magazine um, tube made by Benelli. It's the same finish. It's not like um, one of those third party cells. It's the exact same finish as the, the barrel itself. And so you could put seven rounds in here, plus one in the chamber and one ghost load, which I'll show you how to do, it's just an extra one. So you could have a total of nine. This gun right now, you could fit a total of nine 12 gauge shells in here of two and three quarter inches. So um, I took off the, I replaced that five round tube with this full round. This is not an extension, this is a full round tube. Um, and I'll sh if you wanna see how you do any of these things, which I go into detail, look at my other video, I do a complete explanation and a tutorial of how to install all these pieces. Um, but I'll tell you, if you want to put the full round magazine tube in, you will need a heat gun to, um, I guess you could say, loosen up the uh, Loctite that holds the magazine tube in. And I'm gonna disassemble this a little bit just so you can see it. But, um, wow, this gun, <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Um, so I'm just going to start off with some basics. First off, like I said, it's the Benelli M4 Tactical. They make one that um, doesn't have, this has an 18.5 inch barrel. They make one that has a longer one or without a pistol grip, but you know, I like the pistol grip and this is just perfect. Right now, it's not adjustable stock because that would make an assault weapon. So it's fixed. It has a length of 39.75 inches. How it's customized now with the full length tube, it's unloaded. And let me just show you it is unloaded. Just so you can see. Nothing and, oh, nothing. That's the orange or the red cap. Oh, and also I put in the larger magazine safety button. So, um, this thing has ghost ring sights, which on a shotgun, it's, it's different. It's really different to see that, but it's really, really cool to use and we'll shoot with this thing. It's just, it is, not a power in it, it's ridiculous. Ridiculously good though. Um, it is, it has the Argo system, which is the auto-regulating gas operated system, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, this gun goes for retail $1,800, depending on where you get it. Most sites for $1,800. With my um, upgrade, that came to about $2,000, which, and if you're asking, is it worth it? Because I was thinking of getting the M2, because it was twelve or thirteen hundred dollars, big difference. But yeah, it's it's worth it. If you have a lot of money and you want to get this or something else, 
get this, like the Mossberg, ni Mossberg 930. If you really can't afford it, either get whatever gun you're looking for, um, either the Benelli M2 or the Mossberg 930, both semi-automatic shotguns. Really nice, I don't own any of them, but from what I read and understand, they're really nice. But if you could afford it or even just wait some time and save your money for this, you will not regret it. I can personally guarantee that because it's just, it doesn't get better than this gun. All right, so um, I just want, I'm pretty sure I said this, but how I have it right now, it's 8.41 pounds unloaded. But um, when you get it um, from a manufacturer, it's 7.8. That's because I upgraded some stuff and put the full round magazine tube on, which, so I added metal to it. Um, all right, so I'm going to start you off with this. So you got a rubber buttstock, well, rubber right here. And then this is plastic. So pistol grip, the safety, it's larger, so safety is off. And then safety is on. I just want to show you the gun. Now the, uh, I, the Picatinny rail on top, that comes installed. You don't have to buy that separately. Um, this piece, these pieces right here, they are manufacturers. That's how it comes. Like I said, same color for these two. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to show you how to take it apart, and I'll show you why it's just, just a really nice gun overall. All right, so to take this thing apart, um, the magazine cap at the end, I just have to twist that until it comes off. And these are shot shells, they're not real shells, they're just meant to go through a gun um, without you know, actually firing the gun. That way it doesn't damage the firing pin when you pull the trigger. So once that's off, just going to slide the barrel forward. Um, these four grips, they, uh, they come off. They have the arrow showing the direction and the sides. So you don't have to worry about like which one goes where. It's self-explanatory. That's left, the arrow. Um, all right, so then this just slides off. And like I said, definitely check out my other video if you want to upgrade your gun. Not that this needs upgrades, but if you do, you're also not going to regret that because it's it just makes something better that's you think can't get better, but it could get even better. So um, this is the Argo system. So how this works, um, pretty simple actually. These are short stroke pistons. As you can see, that's the only, this is the only distance they move. There's two of them. So when the gun is fired, um, gas enters this little chamber right here, and it forces these pistons forward just like, I don't know, like a centimeter, I guess. And that short stroke has so much energy that it completely pulls the bolt all the way back and lets in the next round gets inserted. Um, and that's how it works. No gas ever comes in this area ever. It only stays in the pistons. It's the only place the gas goes. So you have no gas over here touching the, the bolt whatsoever. And if you want to take this out, all you have to do is I'm just gonna pull this off and then it slides right out. I'm sorry about the phone in the background. And then this is the bolt. It's a, it's a really nice, it's an interesting type of bolt because when you, this comes at an angle and this goes into the stock, like, I don't know if you can see that, it goes like this, that at an angle like that, not this far back, but it goes at an angle backwards, not straight back. So just to reinsert that, and let that slide in. And just need to make sure that the back piece is facing downwards. And you're just going to push this in to insert it back. In a second, I'll show you how the gun works. It's just a little different than your basic shotgun. That just slides back. And it's best to have the bolt all the way back when you're inserting this or reinstalling it. Okay. 
And when you have about this much space left, that's so this much space left, that's about when you could insert these pieces back. Just make sure they're locked in there. Once that's ready, magazine cap goes on and that's it. Yeah, sorry about the angles. All right. So safety is off. Like I said, it's empty. Um, with this gun, you, if there's nothing in there, this is completely empty. It's not been um, cocked yet. So if nothing's in there. The round or the bolt, I'm sorry, it stays back. To release it, you push this. Um, and if you've already pulled it back, see it won't go back. You just have to push this little button right there, and then it allows that to stay back. So again, it won't stay back, hit the button, it stays back. And if you're loading around, you're going to put one in there, loads it in, and now you can put um, rounds in there. Because if you didn't, if the gun, it's not cocked, this thing, the latch, it will not go up. The only way for you to be able to insert rounds is if it's been cocked already. Now you can put it in. So I'm going to show you how to load the seven in the tube, one in the chamber, and to go so ghost ghost load it to get a total of nine rounds. So you have one round here in the chamber. So that's this is number two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight total, but one in the chamber with one in the, uh, I'm sorry, seven in the tube. Now you have eight right now. How to go still ghost load it? It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to pull the bolt back just enough so you could take the shell that's in there and push it down. That weight's just like floating above the carrier latch. And then you're just going to insert this one in the tube. That's nine rounds. So just you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when the gun is empty, the bolt will lock back. That way you could just insert the next round. Push the magazine release and fire. Sorry, you couldn't have seen that. Round in there, magazine release and fire. Now, when you get this gun, it comes with the button for the magazine for the bolt release is extremely small. So this is a G G and G um, larger bolt release. Um, it sticks out like this, which not many videos show you that. That's how much it sticks out. I didn't know that, but I don't mind it. Um, it's just much easier to grip. Fit two fingers in there compared to just like the surface surface area for one pinky, um, but now you can fit two fingers. The bolt it also comes with is thin, um, but I got this bigger one. It just looks nicer with a gun this nice. I mean, it's just easy to grab. And number one thing about this gun when you see it in person, notice how I said why well, not if because and I know you're gonna get it once you see this video. Um, it's smooth. It's extremely smooth when the bolt moves back and forth. And something I love about this gun, not among like everything else, is that the bolt rotates. It You'll see it rotate when I pull it back. Sorry. So that rotation, um, if, I, to act, if I had a real round, uh, live round in here, when it gets shot back, the shell doesn't just get ejected and dropped to the floor. It gets flung out to the side because of the rotation. Um, and it's right. It really is. This gun is extremely easy to um, oil, to clean, to keep, to, keep, to keep well lubed and all that stuff. There is also a sling mount on the back, both sides, as well as in the front. And then you could adjust this and uh, 
put different ones on, but I didn't because I mean that's fine with me. Um, like I said, 12 gauge, two and three quarters or three inches. Something that I noticed is that I shot those uh, mini shot shells. I think they're one and three quarter inches. Um, they're not. It's not going to have enough recoil to pull the bolt back and insert the next round. So you have to do that manually. No big deal. But if you have more than one shot shell, for example, if you have any round in here with two shot shells in here and the tube, once this thing goes back, the two shot shells are going to be pulled at once. You're not going to have one shell. It's going to pull them both at once and you can't move it. It's really a pain to get um, the shot shells out of there once you have two stuck above the la carrier latch. It's really don't do that. If you're going to use shot shells, one at a time or one in here and or one in the last round in the back. Those are the only times I suggest you use it because if they're in the magazine tube in the middle, anywhere between the first and the last rounds, it's going to get jammed. It's, it's not fun. And if you don't know what I mean, <laughs> I don't suggest you do it, but you know, do it if you're going to. If you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, yeah, that's mostly it. And also, um, my other video, I take this apart, but if you want to take the trigger group out, it's pretty simple. Just going to hit this pin right here, and then this is a retaining pin so it doesn't come out. It just pulls to the side, stays in there, and trigger group comes out. That's as simple as that. This gun really is really simple to disassemble. And, uh, yeah. Um, I believe that's it. I'm sure I forgot something I always do, but, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed. This gun is truly amazing. And uh, if you have any comments or want to say anything, put it in the description, com put it in the comment section. Um, you know, if it's a question, I'll try to get back to you pretty quickly. I hope you liked the video and um, subscribe. Right. See you next time. And I told you I forgot something. So I just want to show you, there is a, um, a choke tube in here. So you're able to adjust the spread of the shots. It comes with the tool to remove it, but you can see it right there, hopefully. Yeah. And I could kind of turn it with my finger. Like I said, there's a tool to do this, it's much easier, but you could adjust the, yeah, here's what it looks like. And this is also a smoothbore shotgun, I forgot to mention that too. Um, it's not rifled, or there's no grooves, it's smoothbore. So that's what that looks like.